to all of you fans of I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, my next guest and my friend, Jamie Lomez, needs no introduction. He was the hero of the show, narrowly pipped to second place, and he's got a lot of really interesting things to say about the life of an actor and about the way an actor interprets the words of authors. Commit. Commit 100% to the character and um, yeah, don't hold back. Wow. <laughs> Do you know what? Every part that I play is, um, has some, something memorable in it, you know, and it's always been one of my favourites because, you know, you do get attached to the character and, you know, um, from EastEnders playing an alcoholic to Hollyoaks where I play a gangster and, you know, to the play that I did for Peter where I played a businessman who's, you know, I've become attached to all the characters and, you know, it's sometimes hard to let go of them. So, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't kind of narrow it down at all, really. Learning the lines is probably the hardest part. I mean, it's, I mean, when I'm doing a soap, it's kind of, you're doing 10 scenes a day. So it's very difficult to hold on to lines. So we, so we have to, I have a look at them the night before and familiarize myself with the scenes. And then I'll, I'll, I'll do them in the morning when I get in work or, you know, if I've got a big scene, then I'll prepare for it, uh, you know, the week before. But because you've, it's just information overload, you know, when you've got so many scenes to do, it, 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 you can't hold on to them, you just got to throw them away and it's quite difficult. I didn't start acting till a late age, I was 20, 26 when I started, so it was something that I was always interested in. I mean, I used to watch uh, Oliver Twist when I was a kid and, you know, all those kind of films. Um, Robert Carlyle was a big, you know, a big inspiration for me. I thought he was a fantastic actor. Um, yeah, I mean, Al Pacino, De Niro, uh, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. There's so many to mention. It's just, I would be here all day. <laughs> um, women. <laughs> I wouldn't say ritual, but I'm, I'm a bit of a method actor, so I, I, I kind of, you know, do some strange things to get myself into the character's head and, um, yeah, so I wouldn't say any particular ritual, but yeah, some people look at me and go, what's he doing? <laughs> but yeah, um, I do, I suppose it is a ritual, yeah, I, 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 to get into the character, but. I did, yeah, I mean, I was always interested in acting, I mean, when I was at school, I went to an all boys school in Gibraltar and uh, there wasn't enough people in my year to, to, to do the GCSE drama, so they scrapped it. And um, yeah, I was kind of at a stage in my life, I was 26 and it was either go one way or another and I wanted to do something with my life and I was just in a pub, ironically, and found a leaflet for acting classes and just thought, go along. and. I went along and did it and I was like, that's me. And I never stopped until, until I got to where I wanted to be. And I've still not got to where I want to be, so we're still going. By what comes in, really. Um, I try and live day by day. I, d I used to try and plan things, but what's the point? I think just live in the moment and so whatever comes, comes. You're that guy off Emmerdale. <laughs> Are you that guy of Emmerdale? Yeah, no, whatever, I, I don't know. I don't know, I couldn't really narrow it down. Welcome back to the real world, Jamie, and hopefully you won't have snakes and other nasty creepy crawlies dropping on you in the middle of the night anymore for a while anyway. Thanks for that great interview, and I look forward to us working together again very soon.